It's the end of the day and the sun is slowly setting on these beef cattle, grazing pasture on the St. Catherine farm at Springfield in Washington County. But the sun is anything but setting on the success of locally produced beef. Go, go, come on girl. Farm manager Danny Ray Spaulding is in charge of the 350 head Angus herd. He has been selling his homegrown beef to the public for the past two decades. It says in the last seven or eight years, the demand for his product has skyrocketed. Part of the reason for that is the confidence he has in what he's selling. You got to believe in what you're doing, you know, and you got to believe in what you're selling. And, you know, and I stand behind our product, you know, because we sell Angus, Angus based beef and it's all choice beef. Uh, you know, something has, somebody does have a problem with something, you know, they'll bring it back or, you know, I'll make it right, you know, and that's what we're here for. Spalding and another local producer, Patrick Wimsat, have teamed up to produce and market value-added products like beef sticks, short ribs, and other products. Wimsat is fairly new to this part of the business after backgrounding cattle for several years. He says the demand is there for the product. You know, if you can get the product and get it out there, there's no problem with selling it. If you can just get it processed and get it and get it to the to the consumer themselves. That's the biggest obstacle. There's a lot of people that want it. Washington County Extension Agent for Agriculture Rick Greenwell has worked with farmers like Spalding and Wimsett as they have expanded their market to local foods. And Greenwell believes the buy local movement is here to stay. It's really been interesting to watch over my career all the different fads that have come and gone. And I was kind of watching just to see what local food was going to do, but it's here. And it's only going to get better. And Extension, I think, needs to find a, make a home for it because we can help people like with the guys you all been interviewing here today. At M&W Milling, a local feed mill at Columbia in Adair County, owner Mark Meyer was looking for a producer to produce local meat that he can market at his feed mill. He didn't have to look far to find David Burris one of his customers. Well, I looked at it like this. I said, the customers that I have uh, had here at M&W Milling, uh, I chose to have some of them to raise our products for us. So the more beef and pork and chicken that I can sell through M&W, that means the more feed that I'm gonna be able to supply them with. Meyer said he has seen his sales increase since he began offering the meat this past summer. And Burris, formerly a dairy farmer for 20 years, says he stands behind the quality of his product. Mark makes all the feed for the cattle. He takes it to them once a week. He can actually stand in front of the freezer over there and tell the people exactly what they've had to eat because he makes it and takes it to the feedlot once a week. Meyer sells Burris beef along with pork produced in neighboring Taylor County. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.